Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and today we have a drape fit box. Y'all, I have been kind of on the fence about drape fit. Now, they do send this to me for review. I only pay a dollar. Most people pay $20 for their styling fee. So do keep that in mind and they do also send me a $20 gift card with every box to keep me doing this, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing it. The clothes are just not quite on the level I've gotten used to. So we're gonna look and see if this box is any better or if it's just another Nadine West. You know, we'll find out. So like I said, if you don't know what this box is, Drape Fit is a monthly try before you buy clothing subscription. They send you five items of clothing. You have five days to try it on. You pay a $20 styling fee. I do not think that is returned to you if you keep something by the way. Just another little note, they do have a women's, a men's, and a kids, so they're trying to be inclusive. Let's see, let's see how the clothes are, y'all, because there's different levels of these boxes. There's the lower end, then there's like medium, and there's high end. This one's on the lower end, which means better pricing, but not as great a quality of clothing. You're gonna find brands like Zanana, things like that in there. And like, then you'll have Stitch Fix, which will be um, brands like Democracy, Sanctuary, uh, Skies Are Blue, things like that. And then you're gonna have high-end ones like um, Daily Looks that are gonna be like $100 and up clothes, which I can't think of any of those brands off the top of my head, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, I don't do many of them high-end ones because I can't afford it. <laughs> Let's open up the box because I'm just a rambling at this point. <laughs> just a rambling. I'm rambling, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here is the box. Let's look what's inside. I do have a referral link. I do not know if it gives me anything. I do not know if it gives you anything. Um, I don't think it did. It's a special link for me, so I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just being honest here, y'all. I don't know. Um, I will put any information I have down below. That way, if you are interested in it, you can click the link and see what's going on and you can see what information I put below. And y'all, they don't let you peek on this one. The bundles are completely sealed. No peeky peeky for the GG. So we've got two bundles. Please say hi to Miss Callie. Hi, Miss Callie Cat. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, so they do send you an envelope. It does have a return label on there. Let me see where it goes, post office. Yes, it goes to the post office. So anything you want to exchange or return, you put in here after you've checked out online and you take it to the post office and you're done. So I love the ease of it. And I do love that there are brands that are not lower quality, lower price because yes if i didn't have this channel i wouldn't spend as much as i do and let me tell you the spending is gone crazy oh bonnie's over there i was like what is that behind me moving <laughs> um y'all i can't even tell you how much i've spent on this channel <laughs> let's just say i'm in debt <laughs> so let's see so here's the 20 dollar gift card I didn't spend my last $20 gift card that they gave me. Y'all, quit fighting. I actually kept it. I asked them if they meant to send it again or if it was just a for the first box thing because this is my third box. And they said, no, it was mine. They're going to send it every time they send me a box. So let me know if you want me to keep this box and keep seeing what's inside of it or not. Um, they did tell me I could use that one anytime. I could use it in the store or I could use it with the box. So now I'll have $40 to spend. So yay for that, because you know we like we like that. Um, let's see what their little pamphlet says and see if I'm missing anything. Personal Style and Service Company. We do best fit. How it works. Complete your style profile. Share your profile price, size, and style preferences with your personal stylist. Request a fit box. Get hand-selected pieces of clothing for your clothing by your dedicated stylist to your home, save money and time, keep what fits you, 
Share your style price size and style preferences with your personal stylist. There's all their social media. What to expect from us. Free shipping as a returns. There are free shipping. There are free shipping both the ways. Okay, so their English is not that great, but mine isn't either, so I can't say too much about that. Keep what you like, return what doesn't fit. Try at home, it's easy. A fit box will be delivered in, in your door. Try at home and return what you don't like. Order on demand, you can order your fit box on your needs, schedule online and cancel anytime. Save up to 25%. Plenty of options to save. If you keep all your items, you get 25% off our service. Each client will have dedicated stylists who will be kept, who will be, who will be keep checking the style fit. Y'all, I am not making this up. That is how it is written. <laughs> um, clients do can directly chat with us, assigned stylist. So you have 365 24-7 support, email support, phone support, chat support. I haven't tried any of that to know how that works. Our core style fit concepts. We have our own approach to meeting an invocative challenge using our own mixture of all style innovation. Each style fit makes an essential contribution to the innovation process and all are needed for comprehensive as well as creative solutions to work challenges. Recognizing different ways we think innovatively is a key to successful working together in the team in order and in an organization and with our clients. There are few distinct languages for innovative designing, visioning, modifying, exploring, and experimenting that we follow to make our client happy. I don't don't have to put all this in there. That didn't really tell me much. Okay, so here is my price sheet. Hi Gina, I'm Paulette and I'm styling your third pox. I picked out a pair of dark blue jeans that can be paired with your red long sleeve sweater and your red abstract oblong scarf. I also chose a cute pink, white, and yellow off the shoulder top, a long sleeve light blue uh, open cardigan and a triple layer gold necklace which can be paired with any outfit of your choosing. Lastly, I chose a pair of black wide lip pants that can be paired with your pink sleeveless top. I hope you are delighted and can't wait to read your feedback. Stay safe and have a stylish day. So that was my note from my stylist. And here is my price sheet. So let's see. Least expensive item is $19.99. Most expensive item is $38.50. That brings me to a total of $217.71. Of course, I would get 25% uh, off if I kept everything. So before sales tax, my total would be one sixty three twenty nine. My problem is I can keep five things from Stitch Fix sometimes for that price, and I think Stitch Fix is the better quality of clothing. So let's look at it and see how it goes. Let's open the big one. Alright, so there's one bundle. Let's look at this. Got something black. It's soft. Feels like it's going to be a dress. Oh, it's pants. So these are, oh, okay. Y'all, can y'all see that hair? Is that hair or string? It's a string. Okay, it's just a string. So these are the wide leg pants. These feel like sleep pants to me. They're or a casual pant. This is a Yolette. Hey, Bonnie Faye. What you doing? 95 round, 5 spandex, large, tumble dry, low. No pockets. A little on the thin side. Looks like this could be folded over. Kind of those kind of pants. Big wide leg. I kind of like them. 
I actually kind of like them. I love lounging in this kind of pant. It's not always great for the kids because of the hair, but I do like lounging in those. And I like lounging in less expensive clothing, y'all. Uh, I don't want to ruin anything that's expensive. So this kind of stuff I normally don't lounge in. I will get different clothes for that. So, okay, good for that. And that might be what I should keep this box for to lounge wear. Stuff like that. Mm, that's an option. Okay. Let's see. Ladies mid-rise, which is not my favorite, but when it comes to loungewear, sometimes I will wear a mid or even a low rise because I'm going to have a big t-shirt over the top of it and it's going to be baggy slouchy. So I don't mind that as much, surprisingly. Ladies mid-rise wide leg pants with foldable top, size 12 black, $34.71. Do I feel like I could get that pair of pants at Walmart for a lower price? Probably. Just to be honest. But keep in mind, you got to worry about these boxes are specially styled. They have to pay the stylists. They have to pay shipping. Things like that. So you will have a little more of a price there. Let's move on to the next item. And it's sweatery. Oh, interesting. So it's cropped. But look at the back, y'all. Look at the back. I mean, that's pretty edgy fun. Um, y'all, I can actually see myself wearing this with a black tank top underneath it. And then, it, you know, I'd have the black tank top tucked in. So if it did come up, you wouldn't see anything. But you'd have this cute detail on the back. I'm surprised by this one. This is Ambiance Apparel Large. Now, I'll have to see if that bothers me because it is a high neck, but kind of fun. Kind of surprisingly fun. Um, and the first, my first impression when I saw a sweater was it's getting warmer. I don't need sweater. So that's something I'm going to have to think of. Let me read about it. Black lace up raglan long sleeve low gauze sweater. 10 red $27.50 that's a good price for a sweater all right I'm not mad at this box so far I'm not I actually expected to be I expected to be disappointed but I'm not that's why I always give them at least three chances to see where it's gonna go so let's look at this I think this is the scarf I don't wear scarves a whole lot um, sometimes things, scarves like this, I'll wear it more as I wrap. Like, I mean, can you see wearing this with a dress, little black dress, or even a yellow dress, or orange, or green? I mean, you, there's so many colors in it, you could wear it with anything. And it's long enough that you can wrap this around your shoulders. You know, you can hold it at the beach, you just want something over your arms. Not that I go to the beach. But cute, interesting pattern. <laughs> I do enjoy these things. I used to I pretty much collect scarves, y'all. I don't, I don't know why, because I hardly ever wear them. But it's like every scarf I saw, I had to buy. So I've got tons of scarves, and I never wear them. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Because yes, this girl's brain sometimes it's non-existent. But I did. When I started the channel, I kind of told myself no scarves because I knew I had so many that I never wear. And so most of my boxes, I tell no scarves. I don't think I told this one no scarves, though. So this is the Abstract Print Oblong Scarf. It is free size, red, $19.99. That's not too bad. Next, we have the pair of dark denim she was telling us about. These are Aeropostle. I don't think I'm saying that right, but that's what they are. <laughs> Dark, skinny jeans. And again, I don't mind keeping some less expensive denim around, especially when I'm going to mom's farm, because it's easy to stain, rip, things like that with the denim when you're you know, crawling around on the ground or working under a vehicle or a tractor or something like that, which I do with my dad. 
Um, so, yeah. I have come home with many a grease stain on my booty from the farm. And one pair of jeans in particular loved the pair of jeans. And I got this big grease stain on the butt. And, well, it was actually oil, I think. Something like that. And I never could get it off. So, I just started wearing them to groom in. So, the back of my smock hangs over it anyway. Nobody ever sees it. So, they're my groom jeans now. Or, I wear them to mom's. So let's read about the jeans. I'm running my mouth chatty today. My chatty Kathy. Air Puzzle High Rise Jagged Jeans, size 10, dark blue, $38.50. Mm. We'll see how they look on. Ooh, we're to the next bundle. necklace so this is a triple layer necklace natural stone pendant triple layer necklace okay I see that natural stone I'm not mad at it I do like a natural stone I've told y'all before I collect minerals rocks crystals things like that I love them I love seeing what God created um, but this looks like more than triple layers I see four um, Sometimes I don't love these layered necklaces because they get all tangled up, but I love the look of them. What do y'all think of this one? It's pretty heavy. I want to see what the closure looks like. And I'm not going to be able to twist it, am I? I want to see what the closure looks like. Okay, it's one of those little lobster hook type of thingamabubbies. There we go. You can tell so much by necklace, by the closure of it. I think it shows the quality. I don't, that's just my, and it is adjustable. Lead compliant. I don't know what that means. So you've got that, what was this? 90s thick braided, this, which is adorable. Then you've got this, which was a lot more in style, that kind of, uh, what is it, paper clip almost chain look. And then you've got the one that has the rock on it. Some kind of spotted jasper, it looks like. Maybe? No. Who am I kidding? Like, I know. I don't have to ask Kelly about that is natural stone pennant triple layer necklace freestyle multicolor $19.99 mm. don't know if i would keep that or not let's just i don't know i don't know that i would keep this one fun i'm just i'm a little more particular with my jewelry now that i'm doing rocks box and loving rocks box so much that I just haven't been wanting to keep anything. Really, I don't have any place to keep it at. I'm not, they're all getting tangled up. I got so many of them hanging from my little pegs. All right, let's see. Cardigan, maybe? Yes, so this is the open front cardigan. I like the color, cute color. And it's, look at, it's got the slit way up. I don't know how I feel about that. No pockets, ribbed. This is from Ambience. Ribbed long sleeve, long line, a cardigan duster. Size 12, blue, $27.50. Move on to the next clothes before the cats get an argument in my lap. Okay, look at this. I don't know what to think, y'all. Cute colors. Love an eyelet. But is it too much? Is it too much? Like a piece of ribbon down the middle. It's got a tie here. Elastic top. Sleeve. 
It does have a layer underneath. I don't know. I'll have to see this one on. This is Tommy Hilfiger. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> this is Tommy Hilfiger. If this is Tommy Hilfiger, where's their little flag thing that's always on all their clothes? Oh, did they send me some rip-off Tommy Hilfiger? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, 100% cotton. The inside is 100% polyester. Dry clean. Clean inside out. Do not machine wash. Do not tumble dry. Do not iron. Do not wet clean. Okay. So, it really knocks me out of this one because I don't do dry clean only. Uh, I just don't do it. I can barely make myself go to the store, much less through dry cleaners. Interesting, though. I don't know. It, there's a couple that just say casual top, woman's top. Let's see what the pictures on the website say. Casual blouse. Tommy Hilfiger casual blouse. The, well, if that's the one it is. Okay, look, this picture is different from the one they sent me. This one is kind of a yellow or as to where I got more of a white background. If this is right, it was a large $26.99 in floral. So, let me scroll to the last one because I know I'm going to be confused about it too. Um, okay. So, this is the last piece we have. Cute, cute color. I like the pink. A little cross top does look a little wide it's crossed in the back as well kind of a baby doll top little ruffle in the middle ruffles out no bottom layer but it is double layered at the top ties on the sleeves this is woman's top hey no 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 I know it's strings but they're not for you let me find the brand in here. This is a drape fit brand. It's got a drape fit tag in it. Woman's printed top, size 10 and pink, $22.50. What do we think? I think it was better than some of the other boxes. I'm curious to try the clothes on. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I mean, those gift cards might get used this time because I can see myself wearing some of this stuff a little more than like the last box. I didn't keep anything in the first box. I kept a couple things, but more of that was just for the hilarity of them, I think. Like those fuzzy leg warmer things. It was just too funny. I mean, <laughs> anyway. Y'all comment below. Let me know what you think. And while you're down there, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. To subscribe to the channel, you just press that subscribe button down below. It is a free subscription to my channel. Um, it just lets you know, you know, it keeps me popping up on your page. I appreciate it if you do subscribe. It really does help me out. And while you're at it, why don't you share the channel with some of your friends? If you push the little share button down there, you can share a link to this video to social media. You can text it, email it, all that good stuff. I would love it if you would do that. And don't forget to press the notification bell. Just fill it all the way in. Say, you know, all the notifications. That way you know what's going on on the channel. I really appreciate it. I'll see you back in a minute with what I'm wearing today and all these clothes. So here is my outfit of the day. I got this Cardi from Stitch fix and excuse me. Uh, I got this top underneath from Torrid. These jeans I got from Amazon. These are Vintage America and the boots. I know I got them from Stitch Fix. Market and Spruce. Cute. Huh? I gotta keep them off anyway. <laughs> Let's turn our clothes on. Um, this I got from Tresil. Uh, these I got from Stitch Fix. And let's see. This one I got from Single Swag, and this one I got from Visure Box. 
I'll look into that. I'll write it all down below for you. See you back in a minute with these clothes. So here's the first outfit, and I don't think I have to tell y'all why this is not working for me. <laughs> um, this is for A cup. I am not an A cup. <laughs> I mean, I tried pulling it up here, but the line would cut me off. Maybe that's how it's supposed to go. Um, it doesn't look like it on that girl. The thing is down here, but if I pull it down here, if I was to loosen it to go down there, yeah, this just is a no for me, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna pull it up here and look at the pants because they're better. <laughs> That this top is, I mean, cute, but just not, not for me. Just doesn't fit me. Um, the pants, on the other hand, very comfy, very cozy. Like I said, I'd wear these as sleep pants. I'd wear them around the house to just hang out in, edit videos in. Um, this does turn down. I probably wouldn't wear them out because I'd be super, un you know, subconscious about this area. That's just me. But I think, honestly, they probably would look fine wearing them out. What do y'all think? Cute little baggy bell bottomies. Wide leggies. They're cute. I like the pants. Let's move on. Okay, we're gonna look at these pants first so I can get out of them because they were so, so tight. I almost didn't get them zipped. They come down to my belly button so the fupa is going to stick out of it they're very tight had to do some wiggling and jiggling to get these suckers on i mean they're okay they're just the wrong size and they're too low for me like so tight that i was having to like push my knees back down because everything was going up let me get out of them all right so this is what i consider a high rise my belly button's down here they're up there fupa doesn't stick out um I mean, it's cute, but it's a sweater. The sleeves are a little long, but I think that could be worked out. Um, the back is the stealer on this one. It's just a fun little back. Of course, I'd want to wear something underneath it. I wouldn't want to be showing my skin. But the thing is, it's just so hot now. I'm not sure that I would ever wear this until next winter. And then who knows if I'll fit in it or not. And this is a little high for me. So this is probably going to be no too. But props for the fun of it. Let's move on. She did suggest this scarf with this outfit. So, yeah. How would you wear it? Cause do I need a scarf with, with a sweater this time of year? Hey, I can pull off anything, right? <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, this is cute. And I do, I love the colors together. It is cute, fun, spring look. My problem is the two together aren't sensible because of this. Does that bug anybody else? The bulkiness of the sleeve with the tight sleeve of the cardigan, it just leaves a funny look. I mean, I think the cardigan is cute and with something that was sleeveless or a, just a t-shirt, I think it would be great and a nice addition to a wardrobe, especially because I could still use my pockets. <laughs> um, and, you know, sometimes with these, if I'm I can do them different ways. Most of the time, I just let them go like that. What do y'all think? Do we like the cardigan? Let's let's see this top now. Now, this is supposed to be an off-the-shoulder top, but for putting the cardigan on, it just wasn't sensible. They wouldn't stay off the shoulders for long enough. But I kind of like it like this with this neckline. I think it looks cute like this. I mean, am I in love with it? No, but I don't dislike it either. Um, let me pull it off the shoulders. We'll look at it like that and then I'll untie it and see. I think I would constantly be pulling at it 
trying to keep it down and then you feel like you're stuck, you know, not full range of motion. Maybe some tape, clothing tape. Could tape it on the right spots. I don't know, but will I go through all that for it? Probably not. Plus it's dry clean only, so that really counts it out for me. But you know, some people don't mind that. Yeah, I think it's all right. Let's put it back up how I tend to wear things. Yeah, I don't like it as much that way. I think I liked it better tied. All right, um, I think that was everything with the exception of the necklace, which I'm not gonna try on because I know I'm not gonna keep it. Let's do a recap. All right, y'all, we are back with the drapes. Oh, my hair's done went flat. You know, there's no saving it. <laughs> There's just no saving it. It's a mess. Um, I've got this interesting wave going on with it, y'all. Uh, it's like one of those, what is it, the 50s, the 60s, when that, oh, when it, when the war was going on and they had that wave in their hair. Yeah, mine naturally does that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, let's go through these clothes. These just didn't fit me. I mean... Yeah, they're just too tight, so I can't even think about those, and I probably won't exchange, but, you know, there's not, they just didn't fit. I mean, this was tempting. I mean, I thought it was an interesting detail. It's just the wrong season. If it was cold weather outside, I might have given this one a little more thought. Um, and I never did. Did I ever look at this and see what it was made of? It's 100% acrylic, so I'd probably lose its shape. You're supposed to dry it flat. I am going to send it back. But cute. This one, I mean, cute, very spring-esque, but dry clean only. Um, so, a little boxy, a little on the boxy side, too. So this is gonna go back. This one was funny. I mean, it just did not work for me. It was just like, okay. My girls took one look at this shirt and laughed. My girls, they just laughed. Cause it was like, ha ha, you think you can cover me up real right. Uh, yeah, I adore the pattern, the color of it. It just didn't fit, so it's gonna go back. So, what do we got left? The jewelry. The jewelry I also am gonna send back. I just, I don't need it. And I don't know, it was a little too much. I've been going a little more towards the just simple or just one long piece simple. So that just seemed like a little much for me. But I do appreciate the stone of it all. We've got this scarf, which I think is cute and fun. It would be a great beach wrap. I mean, you tie this around when you're wearing your swimwear. My only thing is, would I ever reach for it? Would I ever wear it? I mean, 20 bucks. I don't know that I'd ever wear it. That That's my only problem. I'm kind of on the fence about, let's go back, let's come back to that. These, I'm probably gonna keep these. I probably will put these on after I change here in a little while to get cozy and comfy for the cuddle in for the night because they were soft, they were comfortable. They a great just hang around the house pant. Um, and the fact that they're what? $34, $35, not too bad. $34.75 is the actual price. I don't know, I may keep these. Y'all, I did the bend over test in front of the mirror and I couldn't see anything and I got some pink panties on, but they're light pink. So, um, I don't, I think I'm pleased with those. I'm pleased with those. Then you have the cardigan. This is $27.50. I'm tempted to keep it. 
I just haven't decided. I'm gonna watch back. And if I can get this posted in time, y'all can help me out and tell me if you think I should keep the Cardi or the scarf. Um, I, I think I'd wear it. 28 bucks. Oh, right under 28 bucks. I'm, tr I'm, I'm reminding myself that I have $40 to spend or that I can spend. I don't have to, but um, so yeah, that might justify that. I mean, granted, the pants take up almost all of it. I don't know. What do we think? Y'all tell me what to do. Should I keep this Cardi? Uh, should I keep the scarf? Am I making the right decisions on the other products? What do you think? I want to know. And y'all, don't forget to press all those YouTube buttons. Thank you so very much for spending time with me. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.